We might never get a Sekiro 2, but at least FromSoft gave us this. The new deflecting hard tier has quickly become one of my favorite new additions to the game. It definitely does not make Elden Ring into Sekiro, but it's an awesome midpoint that lands closer to how it feels to play Liza P. The unfortunate part being that it's a tier and not a talisman, so you're limited to five minutes. But that's plenty of time for the majority of boss fights where you'll get the most out of it. You can get this from the first furnace golem you see in the DLC. The way it works is mostly straightforward. Guard right before an attack to absorb all physical damage, 75% of elemental and infinity damage, and 65% less stamina consumption. Regardless of what weapon you're using, you'll know you did it right by the distinct ping that you can hear with each spontaneous block. With good timing, you can rapidly press the guard button to deflect combos. Not only does it deflect, but it also enhances the damage of guard counters. Each successful spontaneous block grants a stacking 20% damage buff, up to 80%, for your guard counters within 5 seconds of your last successful block. I think this DLC is desperately trying to tell the player base how good guard counters can be. I'm guilty of mostly ignoring this mechanic before the DLC, mainly because I don't like using shields, but this tier has opened my eyes to the possibilities. You don't need a shield to make this work, and I think that's the beauty of it. However, it makes it a lot easier if your timing isn't perfect. The bigger the weapon, the more effective it will guard. With a small weapon, the hit may knock you backwards, but still prevent any physical damage from getting through. Combining this with guard counters is very satisfying. Guard counters are much faster than charged heavy attacks and do almost as much damage and stagger. This opens up a ton of opportunities for negating damage and punishing effectively. Add in the curved sword talisman to increase guard counter damage by another 20%. If you enjoy the combat style of Liza P or Sekiro, I can't recommend trying this out enough. It's a fun and addicting playstyle that I really hope they continue to bring to future games in the series.